What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Today we're going to make another episode for the Spearfishing for Beginners playlist. We're going to go over open track versus enclosed track. Um, just kind of share my opinions on both, which one I prefer and why. Um, so we'll start with an open track. It is exactly what it sounds like. The track from the trigger mech to the muzzle is completely open. There's nothing, once the shaft is out, there's nothing holding the shaft down. Anywhere along the track of the gun, I can insert the shaft and back into the trigger mechanism. Push that forward. Um, some advantages to open track, you can change shaft diameter, you could change the tab type. Um, you can have shark fin or the Euro tab where it's just a slot. I can't remember the exact name. I don't have any shafts that uh, are like that, but um, technically you could change shafts. You could change uh, shaft diameter and, and type as well. Um, Personally, I don't ever change shaft types, so it's not a huge advantage to me. All my guns are purpose-built, um, and I, I have no, no need to change to a different shaft diameter. I always care, sp carry spares. Um, one of the disadvantages, I think, to an open track gun is when you're going to load it. It can be a little cumbersome, especially if you're in a hurry. You're trying to load, and it's falling out like this. You're trying to get it through the bands. Um, but it's, it's not that big of a deal. You know, you put your, put your thumb there, hold it down and it goes right back. Um, there is nothing that holds it in the track. It is an open track, it is free. Um, another advantage is if you're shooting into holes and the, the gun doesn't, or the shaft doesn't completely leave the gun, you don't have to worry about ripping the track out. It's very hard to do that, but it technically is a possibility. Um, now some of the manufacturers will actually have magnets up here under the track to help with the loading. You put it in there um, and it makes it stay down a little easier. And typically on an open track, the, the shooting line is gonna come over the shaft like that. Uh, to keep that shaft down. Now, there are claims that enclosed tracks are more accurate. Do I have any scientific data to prove that? Not really. Um, I have open track guns. This is one. I've shot open track blue water guns and I've shot plenty of fish with them. If it's a quality, well manufactured gun, I think an open track has just the same capability to be accurate as an enclosed track gun does. Um, now, me personally, I prefer an enclosed track. This is an enclosed track. I can pull the trigger. That shaft is still in there. Um, especially, I think it's most uh, useful when reloading because once I get in that enclosed section, that shaft's not fall falling out. I don't have to do anything other than push it back. I don't have to keep track of it. Um, the shooting line doesn't have to go around the muzzle. I've actually been in such a hurry. Sometimes I shot one fish and the fish are still in the area. I've put the shaft in, loaded the bands, and I haven't even strung the line because I don't need the line. Um, to hold the shaft down. I've done just like that, loaded and shot again. Um, disadvantages to enclosed track is, you know, you have to be in that, you have to find that groove. Um, if you're a beginner, that can be a little cumbersome, but so can the open track, in my opinion. Um, it's just, just like anything, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. Um, with enclosed tracks, if you're taking a really short shot and the, gun, the, tra uh, the shaft does not leave the track completely and the fish goes crazy, Technically, you could, you know, this goes nuts. There's a fish on this end. Technically, you could pop that track out or crack it. Um, I've actually, I've been diving very intensely for maybe 15 years. The past 10 has been 200 days a year I'm in the water. I've only seen one track ever get cracked from that, but it is possible. Um, and again, you have, you have the accuracy claim with, with uh, um, enclosed tracks. So... There they are. Uh, me personally, I like an enclosed track. It's easier to load. Um, again, I don't feel like one or, one or the other is more accurate. I just, when I shoot both, and I think it's mainly the reloading thing, I personally reach for an enclosed track each time. Um, but it's, it's one of those things, it is a preference, depends what you're doing. Um, but yeah, that's all I have on that. If you're asking yourself, which do I need, kind of ask your, your applications. Are you gonna be shooting a ton into holes? Do you ever plan on changing shaft diameter or shaft type? Um, if the answer is no, enclosed track may be the way. Um, but again, both are just fine. I've shot plenty of fish with both open and enclosed tracks. Um, but that is all I have. If you have any questions on this, I think I covered everything. Pretty, this is pretty straightforward. Um, you could definitely find someone to argue with about it if you wanted to. But um, if you have any questions about open track versus enclosed track, leave it in the comments. I'm gonna do my best to get to them. If you're new to spearfishing, check out the rest of this playlist, Spearfishing for Beginners. Um, and if you're new to the channel, check out some of the other videos. We have a lot of fun. I dive a lot. We live in and on the water down here in Key West. 
Um, but that is all I got. I will see you on the next one. Later.